Hello, I am Charles Prober, and I'm a pediatric infectious disease expert and the executive director of the Stanford Center for Health Education. Welcome to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. Today, I will be discussing booster shots for the coronavirus vaccines. I will be explaining what booster shots are, why they are needed, and who will be eligible to receive them. Put simply, a booster shot is just an additional dose of the vaccine that you've already received. The shot is designed to give a boost to your immune system's readiness to fight off the disease. Booster shots are nothing new and they are not specific to the vaccines that are helping to prevent COVID-19. In fact, most vaccines that have been used for many years to prevent a number of potentially serious infections use booster shots. For all vaccine preventable infectious diseases, those caused by viruses, including hepatitis, polio, rotavirus, measles, mumps and rubella, chickenpox, and those caused by bacteria, including diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, pneumococcus haemophilus, children receive their first shots between birth and 15 months of age, and then come back to the doctor for one to three booster shots, the number depending upon the specific vaccine, before they start school. These booster shots help to make the immune system as strong as it can be to fight off the 12 different viral and bacterial diseases. Now you may be wondering how was it determined how many of these booster shots were needed and when ideally should they be given? Well, the answer is that many large and carefully controlled clinical trials for each of these vaccines helped to define the very best vaccine schedules that we use today. Each of these trials assessed our immune system's ability to fight off the target virus or bacteria at different times following vaccination, looking for the optimal number of shots and the best timing between shots to make sure both that they were safe and that vaccine recipients had the best possible level of protection that would last for many, many years, some for our entire life. One vaccine that may be a bit confusing because it needs to be given each year is the vaccine against influenza virus. The reason that the vaccines against influenza need to be given each year is not because our immune system needs this annual boost. The reason is because the influenza virus changes a bit each year. And to stay up with these changes, a modified vaccine is produced each year that is designed specifically against the latest viral modifications. Most viruses do not change much over time, so the vaccines do not need to be changed over time either. Influenza is an exception. So what exactly does all of this mean for the current and future coronavirus vaccines? Some of the vaccines that have been developed around the world were designed as a single shot. For example, the Johnson & Johnson Janssen vaccine, while others were developed as a two-dose vaccine schedule, for example, Pfizer and Moderna. The second dose of these vaccines is a booster dose. There are now a number of studies being conducted both in the United States and around the world to determine if and when booster shots are going to be necessary to prolong or increase the benefit of each of these COVID vaccines. That could mean a second dose for the single dose vaccines or a third dose for the current two dose vaccines. If booster doses are recommended, does that mean that the vaccines have not been effective? Absolutely not. As we've discussed in previous viral facts videos, all of the vaccines that are currently approved in the United States and Europe and other parts of the world are working extremely well to prevent serious illnesses causing hospitalizations and death. The reason for considering the need for booster doses is to achieve both initial and sustained immunity. Within a couple of weeks of receiving the single dose vaccine or the second dose of the two dose coronavirus vaccines, protection from disease has been substantial. But over time, that protection can wane. In addition, because of the widely circulating Delta variant of the coronavirus, public health experts have begun to see reduced protection, especially against mild and moderate forms of COVID-19. The vaccines continue to be highly effective 
especially against severe disease that lead to hospitalizations and death. Indeed, more than 95% of current severe infections occurring in the United States are occurring in unvaccinated individuals. But to prevent those who are vaccinated from getting even mild to moderate disease that can spread to others, booster doses may be suggested. In fact, on September 17th, the Advisory Committee to the FDA recommended that booster doses of the Pfizer vaccine be offered to persons over 65 years of age and to those with compromised immunity or other underlying diseases. Booster doses were not recommended for healthy individuals under 65 years of age at this time. So when should you be getting a booster dose? Please stay tuned because more information is needed before additional recommendations are made. And whenever a booster dose is recommended, it should first be given to those at greatest risk of severe disease, including the elderly and those with serious coexisting conditions, including those with compromised immunity. Healthcare workers also should be prioritized for additional doses of the vaccine once recommended because healthcare workers are needed to support the currently stressed healthcare system. The reason for delaying the institution of booster dosing is so that experts at the Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention can ensure both the safety and effectiveness of boosters by thoroughly evaluating the data we have on how well the vaccines are working and how new variants like Delta might affect vaccine effectiveness. When making these decisions, it is also important to note that our biggest tool for ending the pandemic is to make sure that everyone who is still unvaccinated has access to these highly effective vaccines. Because right now there is a limited supply of global vaccines, it is critical to make sure that as many people as possible are protected around the world. Worldwide vaccination will end the pandemic more quickly by slowing the evolution of further variants and getting us all back to our pre-pandemic state. That's it for today's episode. Please take a look at our Viral Facts playlist for more answers to common COVID-19 questions. Don't forget to keep wearing your mask, practicing physical distancing, getting vaccinated when you can, and looking out for each other.